Okay, so here's the third video of our bottling simulation. And now what we've done is we've incorporated all the uh, LCD um, into it. And at this point in time, it runs fairly good. Now, we still have some problems when we're moving the box that sometimes the bottle wants to come down here and it actually uh, breaks. But uh, what we're going to do, um, we'll reset the simulation and we'll download put in run mode. Now what we'll do is we'll put in a production run. You can make this number anything you want but because we uh, don't want the video to last forever we'll maybe uh, put in like 250 and we can enter that and we can see over here that it's 250. Now when we start it um, you know our counters are actually run. Now right here um, when you put it into the run mode, it is actually sensing a bottle. So um, we start out with the, this bottle is already detected as a count of one. And I'm not sure there's any way around that. So if we go into our start mode, and we're going a little too fast, so let's slow us down here to something that we can actually see. Okay, that got us through you know, about 50 bottles. You can see the large bottles are coming down. There is no gap in here. The broken bottles are being ground ground up. You can see the grinder spinning on the bottles. And it's counting whether it's a tall bottle or a, a regular sized bottle as it goes in. And through some trial and error, we've determined that um, that when we get to a quantity of about 30, the it's getting full and like it'll probably move on so it doesn't get exactly full because we don't want it to spill over the top but um, we try to get it full rather than that so we can look down here and here's the count of the small bottles the large bottles the scrap bottles and the number of boxes that we've um, filled as far as scrap is and um, See, we're at about 150. That's just. Okay, well, now we're on this box. Let's just speed it up so we can get closer to the finish line. And not take it all day. But one of the things that we have to do is. Um, because when we grind up bottles, the regular size bottle only counts as two-thirds the amount of material as a full size bottle. So we said what we'll do is we'll count a full bottle as a quantity of three and small bottles here as quantities of two. And then when we get to 30, as when we add them up, then we say, well, the box is full and then we need to get a new box. And here, well, I guess what we ended up at bottle 250, and it just happened to be the grinder bottle. But if we look at this, we've got 109, 109, which is 218, and then 32 will make 250. And down here it says we've got two scrap boxes, and so we've got two scrap boxes, almost the third one full. Should have maybe made it 255. But because of the way it works, and you can see you can get varying differences in how full it is. Our grinder's still trying to grind away here. But uh, that is the end of our bottle line simulation.